All right, Shalom. Kahalai, I'm Lai, Yahweh, Bashim, I'm Shah, Bashim, Rakakodash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who rule the teach well, must peace, love, and salutations to all the brothers doing this work in truth and sincerity. Shalom, this is young brother Batak, back again through the spirit with another lesson. Lord willing, is edifying. Now, um, as you can see on the screen, uh, this is a term that I uh, most recently discovered. You know, I ain't know nothing about it. You know, um, I've I seen a video of, of Orlando Brown, you know, he was talking about, he, he mentioned this, you know, this specific topic right here, you know, P, the PIs, you know, I don't know if, you know, this is going to be, you know, I'm using, you know, I'm trying to get around the algorithm, you know, because I don't know if this is going to get flagged or taken down. So I'm just, you know, but as you can see, it's the P, the PIs, you know, and um, I've most recently discovered this, you know, I've seen Orlando Brown's video. And, um, yeah, it just, and I looked into it a little bit and, you know, I did a little bit of research on it and, um, it's, it's, it's a sick, it's sickening, man. You know, it's sickening, you know, it's very fucking sickening and displeasing to know this is what's going on behind closed doors, man. You know, that's, it's happening in, in the Babylon, the great, in the, 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 the Holly weird and the, the illuminated ones. They do this type of shit, man. You know, they do this shit to to young children, man. You know, they does this shit, man. It's sickening, man. It's so sickening, man. What kind of what kind of person would do something like this to a child, man? This is fucking and sickening, man. You know, that's why we can't wait till the Lord put a put these devils down, man. We hasten them today when the Lord judge these damn motherfuckers, man. And they just, they go, man, I hope the Lord burn all you motherfucking evil devils, man. The Lord is going to burn you devils, man. Thermonuclear fire, man. It's, you deserved it, die, man. You don't deserve to be fucking ruling. But, you know, I'm going to get right into it. Um, This, this, uh, the P.I.s are caused by something. And it has to do with sodomy. That's all I'm going to say on that. It has something to do with sodomy. And most recently, the Baal, you know, the Baal, let's see, Yaga, you know, has something to, to do with this type of, they promote this type of this type of fuck fuckery, man, you know, they, they promote this type of uh, wicked practices. It says, don't mess with children. P.I.s make up meaning explored as Blessed Yaga is ripped apart over a child ad. And they and they've been doing this type of shit, man. They've been doing that. Now you have like a little movement. Uh, Jake. Is uh Jake's everywhere is like really burning their Balenciaga gear, you know? They burning that shit. <sighs> Cause Jake are the number one consumers. So a lot of people are burning their shit, man. You can just look up Balenciaga burning on you know on you or TikTok or look up videos on YouTube. People burning their best Balenciaga, man. Okay, it says Take a good look at that doll that she's holding, man. On the left, take a good look at that doll. And look at the eyes of that doll. Look what's around the eyes of that, 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 that it looks like a panda bar. It's black around the eyes. It's a lot. Yeah. Okay. It says, Blessed Aga has apologized for their recent controversial ad campaign. The company took to social media to address the advertisement that featured young children holding teddy bears wearing a uh, while dressed in bondage, bondage gear. And you know, if you know, you know, you know, it should know what bondage gear is. Although the, lex, uh, the luxury house has removed the online campaign, netizens remain in, enraged. Of course, they enraged. You promoting this type of activity, man. But let's see, y'all is very much counseled in my eyes. I don't care what explanation they come up with. Don't mess with children. 
And that's what these sick motherfuckers do, man. Brothers don't did all kinds of videos on what the word Balenciaga means. You know? And this is just, uh, it's, it's disgusting, man. It's disgusting. You know? So, Yahweh Ba'a Shema Abishai sees everything that you devils are doing, man. And that's why he's exposing it. That's why he's exposing it, man. You devils are going down. Your, the Lord is exposing all your little evil deeds that you do behind closed doors. <sighs> children have not, children have not passed the flower of their age, man. For you to be fucking touching them, man. But yet they want to legalize pedo. You should know what pedo is, man. Uh, let me get some real quick. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13. It says, if a man also lies with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Right, so you sodomizing young children, young boys and young girls. You know, that's what they do. And what by by doing those un, those filthy acts, it causes what they call PIs, man. It causes that because it's uh it's it's from abuse. It's from heavy abuse, man. Now, what kind of individual would do something like this, man? That's how you know we're dealing with the damn devil. Let me get some scriptures condemning these people, man. Y'all gonna go, man, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna execute judgment upon you damn devils, man. Let me get some real quick. Job 9 and 24. This is why this type of shit is going on. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The wicked is doing things like this behind closed doors, man. And they pushing that energy, man. They pushing out that influence in the earth. It says, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right. If Esau is not the wicked, then who is the damn wicked? Please tell me. Please tell me. You Christians, y'all, yeah, if Esau's the so-called white man, Esau eat him, it's not the wicked. Then who the fuck is the wicked? Vocab Malone, who's the wicked then? Answer that damn question. And for all you dummies out there that don't believe this word, answer that fucking question. Who's the wicked? Describe them. Let me get some real quick. Job chapter 17, verse 8. It says, Upright men shall be astonished at this, and the innocent shall stir up himself against the hypocrite. And that's what we're doing. Should a righteous stand in great boldness before the Satan sets us made account of it? Uh, let's get it real quick. we standing up against you damn devils, man. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as afflicted him and made no account of his labors. Lion, bold, ass. I know it's, that's not the right way. Proverbs 28 and 1. The wicked fleeth, flee when no man pursueth, but the, the righteous are as bold as a lion. So Esau, 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 Edom, you, you're... You're you're not like you're you're the wicked man. You flee when no man pursue it. When you are when you are accused of your crimes to your face, you leave. You you leave, man. These devils they don't they they can't stand in this fire, man. When they come up to the camp, they run off, man, because they can't stand in that fire. We are we're boldly proclaiming this shit to your face, man. Telling you what's gonna happen to you. Telling you your future. You you don't gotta go to no future teller, fortune teller to find out what's gonna happen. Because the Lord set up prophets. Uh, what was that scripture? Um, 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel 8 and 8. No, 1 Samuel 9 and 9. Yeah, 1 Samuel 9 and 9. It says, Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of the Most High, thus he spake, Come and let us go to the seer. Which a seer is another name for a prophet. A man of the Lord. That the Lord is dealing with on a certain level. For he, for he that is now called a prophet 
was before time called a seer. So the pro you want to know what's happening, what's going to happen? You got to go to the seer, man. Because the seers, they see, uh, in the old times, they seen the visions. The Lord showed them visions of what was going to happen. And our people, they don't see the vision, man. That's why the scripture says, where there's no vision, the people perish, man. They don't see the vision. They don't see the light. Their eyes are not open. They can't see. When there is no vision, the people perish. They're walking blindly. You know? Um, I was going to get a scripture, but I've, uh, it's escaped me what, what I was going to get. Oh, Jeremiah 28 and, 28 and 8. Jeremiah 28 and 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. And that's what we're doing. We're coming, we're the prophets coming back in the reincarnation. You know, the Lord woke us up to this word. He opened our eyes to see the word. And we've been teaching it, man, to the best of our ability with due diligence, man. Like a like a work of the man, like a man of the Lord should. You know? So the prophesy, prophets prophesy against major kingdoms. And America is what? A major kingdom. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. That This is a great kingdom. We're also prophesying against other nations, man. All the nations, honestly. We're telling all the nations that they're going to what? Slavery. This is the future, man. We're proclaiming this among the Gentiles. We're proclaiming this word, telling them that all of them are going to go into slavery, or going into slavery. That all of them are going to pay for their sins, because the time of Yahweh Baal Shemuel's judgment is now. He's going to execute vengeance upon these people, man, and we don't see it. And you devils, you fucking deserve it, man. All the shit that y'all motherfucking devils don't did, all you gonna put the motherfucking pay, man. Excuse my French. It just pisses me off when I see this type of shit, man. And know that I can't do nothing about it. But ultimately, the Lord is going to do something about it. You know? All the abuse and shit, man. That shit is sickening. Because we have kids, man. Imagine that happening to your fucking child, man. It'll be have you heat it, man. You'll be ready to kill one of these fucking Edomites, man. Jeremiah 28 and 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. America is a great kingdom. And she's going to fall. Of war, of and of evil, and of pestilence. Let me get some real quick. Morning. Lamentation. And woes. Jeremiah chapter 6. Wait, no. Oh, it might be Ezekiel. It might be Ezekiel. Yeah, it is Ezekiel. Ezekiel 2 and 10. It says, and he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. It's referring to the book. If you read up, it's referring to a Bible. It's, it's, it's the scriptures. It says, and therein, it says, there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. I don't need to explain to you what those mean. Lamentation, you know what lamentation means. It means a cry. Mourning means mourning. You're basically grieving. And woe means destruction. Evil. So that's what is written in this book. So this is what we're telling you people, you Americans, you know, the, 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 the inhabitants of Babylon... Mainly you tribes, man. We we trying to we trying to seal the elect, man. You know, where the Lord is gonna seal the elect, we just pushing out the word and Lord willing the elect be sealed, man. You know, that's what we 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 we, ain't, we concerned with the elect. We want the elect to be sealed, man. So we can get the hell up out of Babylon, the great AK America, and the Lord can bring the missiles and the the fire tear it to fire and burn this place, man. Jeremiah eight and um twenty nine, it says the prophets which prophesy of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known 
that Yahweh have truly sent him. Right. The only time we gonna prophesy peace is after the kingdom is established, man. While the king is established, that's when it's gonna be an era of peace. That's what's gonna be an age of peace. Jerusalem, the city of peace. That's when peace is gonna be in the earth. Let me see if I can find a scripture that's uh oh it perfect. Psalms 37 and 11. It says, But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. That's what it's gonna be all about, man. Peace is gonna be upon us. Ain't gonna be no more fucking wars. Ain't gonna be no more tribulation, man. You know, ain't gonna be no more death. Everything is gonna be put up under us, man. All of these calamities that we facing now. We ain't gonna never face this shit again. And you can bet that your last dime on that, man. Hold on. Oh, this is beautiful uh zechariah chapter 9 verse 9 it says rejoice greatly O daughter of zion which is talking about israel uh zion comes from the hebrew word to zion which means monument and it's something else that it means monument and uh damn it i forget i forget forgive me it says shout O daughter of jerusalem behold thy king cometh uh, um, uh, to thee just he is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass. Now this is the prophesy of Yahweh Shai, you know, coming into this, you know, coming and they send Hosanna, Hosanna. Well, let me see her. Hosanna, which means, uh, which means um, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Noah, Yahweh Noah, which means deliver us. If I'm, I think I'm return, referring to the right, right account. Mark chapter 11. Verse 1, it says, And when they came nigh to Jerusalem unto Beth Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, he sent forth two disciples and said unto them, Go your way into the village over against you, and soon as ye see you enter into it, you shall find a coat tied. Slack here, bear with me one second. You shall find a coat tied whereupon. Never man sit, loose him and bring and bring him. Which is talking about an ass. It says, and and if any man say unto you, why you do this, say unto say say ye that the Lord hath need of him, and straightway he will send it him hither. Uh, bear with me one second. I'm going to have to uh, make a part to this lesson. I have to handle some business real quick. Shabbat shalom.